Right, today we've got a couple of super budget radios for you. These are the KDC1s. These are freely available on Amazon and eBay for under £10. I got these for £8.99, uh, although the seller I bought mine off pumped them up for to eleven ninety nine for some reason. But they're still really, really super cheap. Uh, another YouTuber called Ringway Manchester pointed to the, these in my direction. I suggest you go and watch his channel as well because he's done a review of these and he's done some other really cool funky videos where he's took uh, a drone up with a handheld on to act as a repeater. So I suggest you go and look at Ringway Manchester's channel. Uh, anyway, quick blast through these because uh, he's already done it but I'm going to do it too because I think they're great. And look what you get for your money. I mean look at that out of the box. Incredible. Incredible value for money. Uh, UK adapter. A little battery there which is a 3.7 volt 1.5 amp hour a uh, little earpiece charging base and a uh, <coughs> a, um, a microphone here a remote microphone with a PTT and a clip and uh, I mean that is just amazing isn't it for $8.99 <coughs> if you check um, Ringway Manchester's channel out he shows these being programmed so I'm not going to go through that because you can download the software to program these radios freely off the internet just go and search for the model of the radio and you'll find the software and it's very very easy to program the same as the Wuxon and Wuxon and the uh, Baofeng uh, radios so um, let's just uh, well let's just take it out in the car take it to the usual spot and uh, and we'll see exactly how we get on with it. I'll just show you a quick close-up of the radio so you can see what you're getting. Well, this is the radio up close and personal. Um, it is actually available in white as well, if you look around. Um, on the side, you have the PTT button. These are the channel select buttons up and down. It's not on the top, as in uh, the, some of the cheaper Chinese radios. That's just your, your volume on-off control. <coughs> and you will get an audible, uh, audible announcement of the channel that you're on when you go up and down with those. Um, the battery is very much like an old school mobile phone uh, battery if you like. The battery just basically clips in the back there, just sits in the back of the radio like that. Just nicely, like really like an old fashioned uh, mobile phone. And the output power of these radios is supposed to be um, 2 watts. Uh, but we shall see, we shall see how it compares to, uh, to, some, to a standard little uh, 888 clone. Power on, one. Yeah. Quite a nice audio from the uh, from the speaker there, and we're on channel one. But we will have to actually change these uh, channels. I'm not going to show that because Ringway Manchester shows that on his video. So go and check his channel out. Uh, but I'm just going to program these up so I can do a test with them, and uh, we'll see how we get on. I forgot to mention actually on the side of the radio, uh, there is actually a USB connection there. So if you're out and about, you've got an old school uh, mini USB connector there for charging. And then the standard uh, Kenwood, not Ken, I always say Kenwood, but yeah, I suppose it is Kenwood, yeah, so they all do these type, of, but it's this actually, the Ken, Kenwood standard, I think. Um, a microphone earpiece plug on the side. Um, so I hadn't shown that, so I thought I'd better show it. Um, PTT light as well. Um, turn the radio on, that would help. Power on, one. There you go. Orange and I guess green is when it's receiving. But we shall see a little bit later on. Really nice audio from that, actually. That's not been mentioned. A really nice, um, not 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 a tinny sound. Quite a nice, rich sound from the speaker there. So that'd be interesting. Anyway, we're definitely going to take these out and about. Let's uh, let's get them programmed up. And we'll take them out and see how it compares. I'm going to actually um, I'm going to actually test it against this, which is a, is a triple eight clone, which I've done a video on separately the R5 which is going to be a similar sort of power, similar sort of spec so we'll we'll test it against the R5, I think that's a fair test. Right, I've stuck it on the scales, I've popped the belt clip onto the radio as well it's 128 grams, that's pretty light let's just see how that compares to say the R5 which is a similar sort of unit okay that's 166 so it's, it's heavier than the R5 um, but I wonder what the performance difference is going to be between the two of these um, with the little stubby antenna on the on the KDC1 and the uh, the R5 with its more substantial, albeit fairly rubbish, antenna. <laughs> and uh, we'll, it'll be interesting to see the difference between the two. Right, we're at the uh, first location, location A, which is about three miles as it goes. So we're going to try out the uh, the new radio, uh, WLN KDC1. Okay. I think I got that right. We'll try it anyway. Right, here we go. This is G7LNK portable checking the KDC1 at three miles. This is G7LNK portable checking the KDC1 at three miles. 
Here we are with the R5. This is G7 color LNK portable checking the Balfong R5 at three miles. This is G7 color LNK portable checking the Balfong R5 at three miles. Right, this is G7 LNK portable checking the KDC1 at seven miles. Right, this is G7 LNK portable checking the KDC1 at seven miles. This is G7 LNK portable checking the checking the Balfung R5 at seven miles. This is G7 LNK portable checking the checking the Balfung R5 at seven miles. Another go. This is G7 LNK portable checking the Balfung R5 at seven miles. This is G7 LNK portable checking the Balfung R5 at seven miles. Well, I suppose the uh, question is, what do I think? I think it's decent, really decent. It's got the feeling of an old school sort of mobile phone about it. Um, see that it's got UHF on the antenna stub. I have read on forums that the dual, they are dual band uh, and you can program them on VHF. It certainly is an option in the software. So I don't know, I haven't tried that, but it's something you could try. I mean, for 8 99 what are you gonna lose if you blow it up? I mean, nothing. Um, I mean, quick looking at the uh, the SDR, it looked like they were similar power, similar sorts of power between the two radios. Now, if you've, you know, if you look at the size difference, it's quite a bit bigger and chunkier. I've took the belt clip off this one, but you know, these are eight ninety nine with the earpiece and with the power supply and the desktop charger, and it's you can charge it with a a normal U, a normal USB cable, a normal micro, I think that is, or mini, no, sorry, mini, yeah, it's the mini USB type, and possibly dual band, I mean, I don't know what kind of battery life you're going to get out of these, probably not as good as the uh, UV5Rs and those, but, um, by me, you know, that's amazing for 899 like I say, also available in white, um, and uh, come with the, the base and the earplug and everything, so... If you're after a couple of cheap little radios, remember again, these are not legal on uh, the PMR frequencies. So um, if you do get these, you should be a, a licensed radio ham and you should also make sure you always program them. Now, I had to get the software on Windows 10 on my laptop. My old prolific drivers didn't work. So if you go to Mikolor.com, just, just Google that, uh, M-I-K-O-L-O-R.com and search for prol prolific drivers. And make sure you get the right ones and select them in your device manager. And I found the software for this radio on 409shop.com. Uh, about down the bottom of the page, there's a link to the software on there. Like I say, there are other um, YouTube videos covering these radios and the programming. So if you have a look around, you should be okay. So anyway, uh, until the next time, if you have been watching, thanks for watching. Uh, I have got another radio that I need to get out and test. Just uh, need a bit more time to test it. But if you're after a really, really budget radio, perfect.